Hey guys, what's up? So in this video today, I want to show you how I fixed um, the Xbox One menu like not loading for me. And what I mean is like when you press this X button, that's supposed to pop up like the menu over here. I'm not connected, so these things are grayed out. But this is supposed to pop out. You're supposed to be able to see the time. What ended up happening is when I would press it, it would pop up, but this was not visible. Like basically nothing was visible. It was just like a overlay like this, like color, as you can see here. So like I couldn't go anywhere here. I couldn't do screen capture. I couldn't do nothing. Um, what I ended up doing is I went and restarted it a couple of times. That didn't work. And um, I thought it was going to be something like where I would have to reset my system to default. That's what people were saying. But basically the way I ended up fixing it so that it ended up coming back to how it is now. So I can actually see things and function is I literally just unplugged the power brick from the wall and from the system and I left it off overnight. I'm pretty sure you don't have to leave it overnight, like off, but at least do it like five, 10 minutes so that it's able to clear the cache from the power brick. And I think that's what it was, something bugged out. Um, I think I dropped the power brick and then that's what happened. So for three days, literally I could not access it. It would just be like a blank screen overlay like that. None of this was available. But as soon as I turned it off, Unplugged the power brick from the wall, from the system. I left it overnight because I wasn't playing overnight. Plugged it back in the morning, and now it's back here. As you can see, I can access all that stuff. So, um, other than that, if this doesn't work for you, I apologize. This is what worked for me. People said that you might have to like reset the system to uh, default, which I'm not trying to do, and I'm not going to do it because this worked. Someone else said that you can control, uh, hold like left and right trigger and Y at the same time, and that should like bring it back. It didn't do that for me. Or they also say you can hold the sync button and the eject button at the same time and that would bring it back. And that didn't do it for me. So pretty much the fix for me was to just unplug it and leave it for like, you know, overnight, plug it back in and then boom, it's back like how it's supposed to be. So I hope that helps you guys out. Um, if you have any further questions, let me know and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, peace.